Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar today of using the Oracle IoT Cloud Service with JD Edwards IoT Orchestrator in the JD Edwards Enterprise One application. We'll, we'll learn how to integrate the three to implement a proactive servicing solution for smart IoT devices. My name is Hiba Latifi and I along with my colleagues here, Mr. Shakil and Mr. Furkan, represent eFlux. So what do we have in store for you today? Firstly, we will take you through the essentials of Oracle IoT Service Cloud, the JD Edwards IoT Orchestrator Studio, and the JD Edwards Enterprise One application. Then we'll look into a very familiar use case through a process flow, where these three will gel up brilliantly. And lastly, we'll show you how it can all be done through a live demo. So imagine there's a vendor, say a vendor one, who sells smart machines like tractors that have location sensors, speedometers, and accelerometers on them to monitor their usage and location remotely. A customer comes by and buys it from vendor one and starts using it at a very distant location. The tractor's different parameters are noted, like its location, along with its fuel consumption, its engine utilization and percentage, and its uptime is monitored and logged. At the end of a month's time, when the customer's rent period has elapsed, an invoice is automatically generated and sent to vendor. And the customer pays the rent for the tractor as per its usage and consumption parameters. Simple and transparent. Now let's look into the components that make up this setup. The Oracle IoT Cloud Service. The Oracle Internet of Things Cloud Service lets smart devices connect to it directly, allows them to send data, and can generate alerts in return. Additionally, IoT Cloud Service enables analysis and processing of data after it has been fed by the devices into real time and can deliver processed data to external applications seamlessly. Next up comes the very important feature of this setup, the Oracle JD Edwards IoT Orchestrator. The Orchestrator lets you design and deploy orchestrations, aka processes, it takes input from external disparate sources and filters the data, applies in rules to update the JT Edwards forms for the AIS server. The Oracle IoT Cloud Service reaches out to the orchestrator whenever certain criteria are met or an application has to be updated. It transforms data into actionable business processes to be used with JD Edwards Enterprise One application. And lastly, the final piece of block the JD Edwards Enterprise One. JD Edwards E1 is an integrated application suite of comprehensive enterprise resource planning software that combines business value, standard space technology, and deep industry experience into a business solution. That data fetched from the orchestrator is used in JD Edwards E1 to provide device maintenance facility. Also, Oracle's JD Edwards E1 OneView reporting as a real-time reporting solution lets you design and personalize data into charts, lists, graphs, etc. In addition, JD Edwards E1 applications help in managing assets lifecycle, orders, and enterprises finances. Now I will hand it over to my colleague Mr. Shakil here to take us through an example. Hi, this is Shakil uh, working as SaaS and PaaS administrator at Eflux. Let me give you the quick overview about the platform. As you are aware these days, Oracle is offering multiple cloud services. So we have decided to utilize these cloud services for demonstration purpose. Having said that, it can easily be achievable to integrate IoT cloud services with, with on-prem JD AdWords. So no need to worry about it. In this demonstration, we are using IoT Cloud Service 16.2.3 and JD Edward Enterprise One Cloud 9.2, along with IoT Orchestrator. <coughs> now, let me give you the overview of what we have integrated so far. Now, let me talk about integrating IoT Cloud Services and I with IoT Orchestrator. From the very first, we have an equipment or tractor that gave us specific information through sensor, i.e. uptime and the location, etc. Now on the next level, we have IoT cloud service that collect the specific information and 
from equipment and manipulate data into form of stream in the form of a stream now we have iot orchestrator that process the stream data and forward it to the jd edwards application you can see in the presentation jd edwards JD Edwards have ability to visualize data in the form of uh, reports and generate invoices as well. Now, from from that's it from my end. Now, let me forward it to Mr. Furkan, who will walk through the live demonstration and cover some technical aspect of the integration. Hi, this is Furkan, working as a software engineer at Eflux Private Limited. Now, look at the real scenario. We can see we can have we have two equipments in the form of tractor that are located on different location. Now move on to the IoT cloud service application. The IoT cloud service application that integrated with IoT orchestrator. Let's we have a quick overview about IoT orchestrator integration. We need orchestration URL, username, username and password through which we can connect the IoT cloud service with orchestrator. After it, we have streams that collect specific equipment information and put it to the IoT cloud service device models. That device models have some parameters through which we can pass the information from JD IoT Cloud Service and JD IoT Orchestrator. Now look at the device model. Here we have equipment number and some other parameters. Now move on to the JD Orchestrator. The GD IoT orchestrator collects the data using orchestration object. Here we can see the orchestration objects list. Okay. Now, the object contains the equipment information and we can forward that information through JD Edward application. Here we can see the JD application. Now, move on to the JD Enterprise One application. Now, there we can see the equipment information which we, which we collect from the JDE IoT Orchestrator. We can use the application name, equipment number through which we can see the information from the device we can get from the Orchestrator. Now move on to the presentation. Now move on to the presentation. We also generate the equipment utilization reports through one view. You can see the one view report. Here we have some gauges and some other things, tables and location values. Equipment utilization report contain the equipment you uptime engine utilization and fuel consumption. In the end, based on the equipment utilization, we have generated the invoice through JDE. You can see on screen. Now, that is how we can integrate the JDE IoT orchestrator and JDE cloud service. So that is it from our side. Hope you found it useful. I'd like to thank my colleagues here for their time today, explaining the process flow and giving a demo. Feel free to reach out to us and let us know what you've been doing with the Oracle IoT Cloud Service and the JD Edwards lately. Have a nice day.